Hey, hey, hello, fellow gamers. So, uh, today's video is gonna be about my build. I've uh, heard a lot of requests. So, let's get straight back into it. So, let's start first with attributes. My distribution was uh, hitting 100 constitution first. For getting this perk mainly and staying medium weight low to have uh, decent defenses as well. I then went with strength. Uh, not even many points in it because you can get uh, enough of it from the gear. And after that, I went straight into dexterity for 5% crit. And my build is uh, mainly based around hatchet. So this is the attributes. Now I'm going to master race for hatchet. You will want berserker, berserk, fully upgraded first. Then this passive from heavy attack. I will show you how it works in a second. Uh, I did go with raging tyrant because uh, just like it way more than feral rush. A feral rush will be good and give it end game, uh, especially with this perk right here. Because root is uh, probably one of the best CCs in the game. It's, it works better in stun because you break stun with one hit, but root still stays on the target. So first max out Berserker 3 to get Defy Death, because you can uh, find yourself in some pretty clutch moments as well, be it duels, wars, uh, just in overall and fights, even in, in, in PvE. So uh, my build also works for PvE. It's also maximum damage output build for Hatchet. So I went with Berserk 3 first, having 10 points to get Defy Death. I then moved onto throwing side, getting this passive first. Crit chance is just by 5%, and it stacks with the one from Dexterity, so it's super, super crazy good for Hatchet. Uh, then for Stamina Recovery on Crit, right here, Rejuvenating Crits. Uh, then I proceeded to go take Running Throw. This passive is like a filler, it doesn't really do anything. And Exploitation, this is like the main uh, passive for this build. All attacks deal 15% additional damage to targets with an active debuff. And this pairs up very well with Rending Throw, because it applies Rend, and Rend reduces target's defense by 10%. So not only are you getting damage, uh, more damage to target done uh, with this Rending Throw, but also this passive. So I'll show the quick rotation with Hatchet with this build. So first you pop Berserk into Rending Throw, if it's act to get the 30% damage increase, and then... Raging Tauren. This is like the biggest damage output you can have for the Hatchet. For Great Axe, we first wanted to go for Bloodlust, because Bloodlust is the probably the best passive you can have, especially for melee build. Because of this, Great Axe is the only melee weapon that can compete with caster builds and ranged as well. So, uh, Reap is an obvious choice here. It's a CC, it's a pull. It also heals pretty nice from Reap right here. Then it was charged as a gap closer, one of the best. Uh, you can also do a lot of damage, because you will mostly charge targets that are running away from you, which means backstep, uh, backstep attack, which is increased damage. And if you press right mouse button, you do a lot more damage. Passives, I did go with the light attack, stackable damage increase, very good. Uh, then I went with uh, healing passives, which is critical gains. Heal yourself for 10% of damage done with crit. And then, uh, below, foes below 30% health, you crit more often by 15%. The last one is feed. Uh, if your foe is below 30%, you heal for 10% of the damage done. So it goes hand in hand. And then, of course, about last, you move 30% faster and deal 15% more damage when looking at a foe within 50 meters. So you can uh, probably see how that is pretty crazy. And then for molar, for the rest of the points, I'm not maxed out, I'm not on 20. I've been testing Maelstrom, uh, haven't really get, get a chance to get this uh, last upgrade because Maelstrom, uh, if you can catch target in Maelstrom range, uh, it can do a lot of damage. But with Hatchet build, I would probably go with Gravity Well because the CC from this as a pull, it really helps your build to catch targets with and just uh, go and then proceed to go hard with Hatchet. Because this build is more about hatchet. I'm using way more my hatchet than great axe. This is like more of a chasing weapon. And uh, so you will probably, if you go, if you are going for gravity well, you would want to pick these two passives: havoc pool, and then enduring strike. Enduring strike is also one very good use. So if you are out of stamina, waiting for your, for your bar to replenish the full, 
you then can start heavy attacking with great attacks because you will have 20 damage reduction while 20% damage reduction while heavy attacking and also has great and great as you can see here added stagger resistance that stops attacks from being interrupted by reactions so basically immune to stagger and then you would proceed to go gravity well this is also very good for small scale and in just a group pvp so this is mastery it's being done also for example we just i just got done with pvp tournament we have had on our server muspelheim with black army of the hungary company and some other players as well we were like 40 players there we had a little tournament area arena so if the, if the if the space is not that huge then maelstrom might be better you don't really need gravity well to get your targets with so it's just a little hint i'm gonna upload a few fights from the tournament later on i believe and i fight a higher level player as well but five levels so you can see that scaling kind of is nerfed as we can uh, as we as we know from the patch notes so this was uh masteries now going over here you do want to have fashion gear and with this build i found that medium weight load is just the best so for the ideal min maxed with maximized defenses build medium weight load you do want heavy helmet fashion one heavy chest piece and then a medium gloves, medium boots, and light pants. I did roll stats on my chest and helmet for dexterity and constitution to reach 50 dexterity for this crit chance. My build is a bit of twinked out. This is a twink kind of because we had limited time in open beta. So I did farm the dungeon to have these two jewels. So the best trade you can get on amulet especially if you're melee uh, build uh, going with constitution the most is this health perk you have a uh, percentage more maximum hp which is very good very good your berserk heal is percentage as well so that adds up and the focus there is like not even useful at all i do have a secondary amulet right here this one is really easy to get early on it unlocks at like with like level 14 or 15 and one large buff easy quest to do so this amulet can last you up until level 50 or something around that where you can get a very good amulet as well from Great Cleave. For ring this is probably the best in slot maybe even until level 60. Uh, it is a physical ward uh, gem absorption physical absorption most people are running physical or melee builds so this helps a lot both of these jewels. 17 strength very high roll stat on it and a slash damage. It's like the, the, per, the best perk you can have for this build damage wise because both hatchet and Crytax have slash damage right over here. For weapons you do want enchanted, either enchanted as you can see here or crit chance increase or crit hit damage increase. Because as you, as you could see from the passives we are focusing on crit chance even with Crytax. Uh, ideally your Right X would be strength, but again, for hitting 50 dexterity, I kind of had to head dexterity on my weapons. I did here as well. Uh, for consumables, not that many people know about this, but weak honing stone or just honing stone in general. This was supposed to be nerfed to last only 15 seconds from last patch notes, but it actually lasts 10, 10 minutes, as you can see here, right here. 200% weapon damage that's uh, just visual it doesn't increase the weapon damage that much because we will just blow stuff up right but it's re in reality it's only two percent but uh, the higher tier one is three percent and so on so you'll want to have this as well it applies to both weapons when you swap them and uh, with these perks for great decks how i play it is uh, when I start from a distance on a target, I always uh, open up with charge, right mouse button. Uh, target will always dodge roll from your charge, so you kind of wait for the roll dodge, and then use reap on the target to give him back. I then either go with gravity well and swap to hatchet, or just swap to hatchet right away, go berserk, friend, heavy attack, into raging current. That's the biggest damage you can do with the hatchet. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have guys have any more questions, just let me know. Uh, I can do some more 
guides. I will totally do more guides because I did have a chance to access somewhere. Little hint. So you can expect some more, definitely. Um, if you like the video, just you can hit that subscribe button or like the video. You can find me on Twitch, on Discord as well. You will find the information down below in the description. And until then, y'all have a good one. See you next time.